Is bird flu still a threat to Michigan? Are there things we can do to protect ourselves from the deadly virus? The good news is that the dangerous forms of the H5N1 virus have never been found anywhere in the United States. However, recent outbreaks in England, India, and China serve as a warning that the virus remains a real threat to birds, to the poultry industry, and to people. While the virus can spread from bird to bird and from birds to people, the good news is that it does not appear to spread easily from person to person. And we all need to do our part to prevent a pandemic by making sure the virus cannot spread and mutate. All of us need to be vigilant. Call the Michigan Department of Natural Resources if you see dead or dying birds in the wild. Always use gloves to handle suspicious birds and put them in a plastic bag to avoid spreading disease. People with backyard flocks or pet birds have a special role to play in keeping us safe. The virus could be carried here by migrating birds. These wild birds can pass the virus directly to domesticated birds. Wild birds can also shed virus, leaving it behind. So try to prevent your birds from drinking from outdoor ponds or even puddles. The H5N1 virus thrives where it's wet. To keep your birds safe, consider sheltering them by keeping them indoors, under a roof with walls and netting. If your birds become sick, call the Michigan Department of Agriculture, especially if many birds fall ill at the same time. Another tip is not to hang bird cages outside. And don't believe the myth that some birds, such as pigeons, are immune. When it comes to bird flu, it is far better to be safe than sorry.